Jesus. Amen. We are a chosen generation. Call for us to show his excellence. Oh, let's do the hands get all right. God require for life. God has given me.
Arise, O oh Lord. Male prosa katalia. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Le Lee, thank you so very much for that awesome session. I was blessed. Amen. I hope you all were blessed as well. Amen. And thank you, my amazing sister, for supporting behind. Thank you so much. Wow. And we'll just go right away to welcome everyone. Please take your amazing seats. <laughs> we welcome you all. We welcome you all. We're so glad you are here. We're so glad you made it. You know, coming far and near. We are so pleased to have you. We have uh, in our midst Lady Robbie, Lady Robbie Smith from ITBBM Denmark. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Mommy, for coming, for honoring this invitation. God bless you. We have Lydia from Denmark as well. Are we not blessed, Denmark? Amen. We are the chosen one to be the womb opener of this, what God is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have Jonet Amen. from Denmark as well. And Amen. we have our mommy from Sweden. Amen. Wow. wow. Glory be to God. Amen. And Sister Bumi, who just gave us the, who led us in the worship, she comes from Finland. Amen. Wow. Wow. Amazing. And we have a woman of God herself. She will be coming up. Hallelujah. Amen. All the way from Spain. Wow. Amen. Wow. 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 You are all welcome. You are all welcome. You are all welcome. I just want to give a little uh, information and would, uh, to introduce the ministry of the woman of God the DODP, which is the Daughters of Destiny. It is an international inter interdenominational forum for Christian sisters aimed at bringing out the essence of God for them. Daughters of Destiny Publications group on Facebook was created on August 25, 2009. The online fellowship started on Skype on May 28th. 2011 with women connecting every two weeks to fellowship and pray together. The fellowship now holds on Zoom every second Saturday of the month at 6 p.m. <coughs> Daughters of Destiny outreaches and programs were birthed from the fellowship holding both on-site and online programs. Regular programs that have been birthed through these fellowships are Daughters of Destiny Time Out, which has been held in various locations around the nations since 2022 in United Kingdom, in Ireland, in Nigeria, in Netherlands, in Spain, in Germany, in Belgium, in Ghana, and also in Qatar, just to mention a few. Daughters of Destiny Biennial International Conference, the first edition was in August 2014. The subsequent editions have been holding in Spain since 2016, every two years as residential conference. Daughters of Destiny retreats held in various cities and online since 2017. Women in Ministry International Conference, hallelujah. Amen. That one is mighty. And it is coming up in October. Glory to God. Amen. If I am you, start preparing. Get information and start making your way to Spain. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. It is an annual gathering of women in ministry to strengthen one another since October 2017 in Madrid, Spain. Women of God gather for three days from various continents of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Daughters of Destiny Book Publications, the publication arm of the ministry publishing books and magazines of, evangel of Eva Evangelist Tony Fatusi and Daughters of Destiny magazines. See schools of ministry for women, hallelujah, mm -hmm. which kicked off online <coughs> in 2019 with a regular basic course and the first advanced certificate course commenced in 2021. Monthly moment of encounter, first of every month, and monthly night of encounter, third Friday of, of the month, that's online. Periodic women in ministry retreat, empowerment program, and outreaches for women across the nations. These programs have testimonies of many kinds of barring, receiving babies, singles getting married, immigration issues settled, visions of many years birth. Many women have discovered purpose, and I can testify I am one of them. And they are running with it now, all to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So before the next uh, program on our list is on our time today is to on our program. Sorry, is uh, welcome charged by our woman of God, um, Evangelist Tony Patterson, all the way from Spain. But before she come in, I think we can just uh, go to the special to the hymn. <coughs> Yeah, let's take the hymn. Then uh, our woman of God will come up to give us a welcome charge. Hallelujah. And Sister Bumi will be leading us in that. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Let us rise up as we take the special hymn for this um, conference in Jesus' name. Amen. It's on our first page. Conqueror and overcomers, now are we? Are we there? Um. Amen. Conquerors and overcomers, now are we through the precious blood of Christ with victory. If the Lord be for us, we can never fail. Nothing against his mighty power can even conquerors are we. Jesus, God will give us victory through the blood of Jesus, through the Lamb for sin and slain, yes, new lives and raise again. God will onward press, overcoming sin and all unrighteousness. Not to us, but unto him the praise shall be for salvation and for blood, but for victory. Go, chorus and holy through the blood. God will give us victory through the blood of Jesus. Say 
third person is our, you know, with us understanding what we are saying in, in the name of Jesus. Amen. On to verse 3 now. Everybody go. Unto him that overcome shall be given. Yet to it of hidden manna sent from heaven. Over yonder he the victor sun shall be. And a robe of white and gold didn't crash away. Okay, mommy. Okay. Yes, it's okay now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. amen. I bless the name of the Lord for this privilege and this opportunity that the Lord has given me to be here. Amen. Everything God does is a big deal. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've been in Piro for many years, but this is my first time of stepping into Denmark. Amen. We've had many things to do in this land. We have short been here. You know, there is a member of our group who she has relocated to Nigeria now, who was living in Denmark for many years. And she was not just a member of the group, she was a very wonderful one. And um, she will shoot movie for us here. She will um, edit some of our films. And she was very good in graphics and was helping me out with that. And when we had the Bayonne Convention, which Sister Karen read out to us, the first one we had in Spain was in Barcelona. She flew in from here to Barcelona with her little daughter then. Glory be to God. Amen. And she moved back to Nigeria. 
But the Lord raised another woman in the land. Can we celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I think it was May or April, because I remember I bought my ticket in May so, yeah. And we shared it together, and it's like, it's going to be possible, and God will make it happen. And I bless the name of the Lord for making it happen. I want to celebrate us, woman of God, you're welcome, thank you Amen. for being here. It's so encouraging to see, you know, that we have servants of God in our midst, Mama from Sweden, God bless you, you know, this, the way she received it, she said, I'm coming, I bought my ticket. God bless you, Mama Injama. God bless you real good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God, bless God for Sister me And uh, PA, glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. God, the way from Finland. I thank God for all our brothers and all our sisters and our brother from Denmark here. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when the Lord wants to do a thing, it requires a vessel. It's one person that God is going to use to start with. Now, one person had to catch the vision, and then other people will join along the way. So, though I, I got into Denmark for the very first time yesterday, but was, it wasn't actually my first time. Because we've had that sister from Scandinavia, Sweden, from Finland, connecting on, Zoom, on Skype for many years for our online fellowship. And I bless the name of the Lord for this privilege that God has now given to us even to go to the nations and to do this. And this is just laying the foundation. Glory be to Jesus because we are coming back. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And God will make it happen. The thing that the Lord gave to us for this program is the woman helped by the Lord. And I can tell you that that is my own testimony. Because being here and being able to do this is just by the help of God. Someone saw my status on WhatsApp this morning and she wrote me. And she's a woman I've known for years because she's part of DOD too. She has hosted us in our country for a program maybe 11 or 12 years ago. She said, ah, she said, how are you doing it? Because she knew I came to Highland two weeks ago. Two Saturdays ago I was in Highland. And she said, how are you doing it? Oh, this is it. I said, it is God or it's God's help. It's God's help. He said, by your power, by your strength, I can move through a troop. By your strength, I can do your work. Europe is a very beautiful land. But spiritually, and to do the work of God here, it takes a lot of courage. If you don't know who has called you or who has sent you, you will pack it up. You will run back. And you will not want to do the work. Because what? In Europe, people have every legal reason to tell you they are not available. You know, they go going to work. They are doing this one. They are doing that one. And because everything is working, you understand what I mean? You want the water, water is working. It can come to the middle so that we'll be relieved. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our brother who is Marty. Marty doing everything for us so that there are people online can have this. I wasn't planning that we'll go online, but I just have that in my spirit. Okay? Since I have internet, there is internet here. So people can also benefit from me. And I'm sure our people online, they are glad to be connected. Glory be to God. And so, when the Lord brought us to Europe, and we look at how things are, you know, if you want to shout, you'll be the only one to shout by yourself. You'll have noticed I'm going around doing things. I'm used to it now. Hallelujah. Because here, if you give somebody to someone to help you to do this one, to help you to do that one, my dear sister, they won't do it. And they will have their new reason why they won't do it. You will just pack up. You don't want to do anything again. Hallelujah. You don't want to do anything again. You don't want to get the work done. So the Lord taught us how to stand and do things, you know, with his strength. And that is what I call the help of God. Amen. What does the word help mean? Help means support. Divine intervention. Uh, you know, offering one service to be able to, in order for you to be able to do what you have to do. Yes, God gave the vision. But for you to be able to do what God wants you to do, you need the help of God. Yes, God created us as a, as a female gender. But for you to be a woman and a woman successfully, it takes the help of God. Every stage of a woman's life requires the help of God. And so, I have learned it this way to rise up, to go and do what God wants us to do. And you know, it is as we go today, 
God will show us different things in different places. God will make different things to happen. We must be able to do things. Was in Europe, I learned how to organize program. You know, not that we don't organize program. What I mean is that you be the one handling everything. I say everything. Glory be to Jesus. Sakara, you can help me to go and change the slide to my own slide. You see what I'm saying now? Hallelujah. <laughs> You must do the work of God. John chapter 9 verse 4 says, I must walk the work of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can walk. So there is a time that we can walk and there is a time that we will not be able to walk again. So therefore, God expects us to walk because where God has placed us is for a purpose. And why has he created us as a woman? It is because what he, you know, he wants us to you know, depend on on his help. So as I welcome us to this conference today, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. We're sorry we're starting way behind time, but God is our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And our team says the woman held by God. When I got the team, it was another thing I think I wrote before and I said, this is my whole story. This is my testimony. And by the time we are done with the conference today, you and I, you will agree with me that we are indeed women helped by God. Amen. Because without the help of God, we will not be standing. Amen. Without the help of God, we will not. We can't even be a woman successfully. Without the help of God, you will not be here this morning. You had reason. Some travel through the night. If you want to clap, go ahead and clap. Hallelujah. Some travel through the night. Some had to go early in the morning. It is because God helped us. That's why we are here. So a woman, the woman helped by God. Now when we look at the word, you know, I think we call it preposition, mama. Academic and D is a preposition, right? Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. The woman helped by God. And we look at the word D. What does it mean? It means a particular person. Referring to a particular person. So in the course of the conference today, you might see us, you know, focusing on a particular woman and then pick up, you know, like we'll be picking up women. The woman helped by God, looking at the help of God. And one thing I want you to know is that God has assured us of his help. And it will help. The Lord is here to help. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 46. I'm going to start by Psalm 46. And so our Father will thank you for bringing us together. Thank you Lord because you are the God that made things happen. We give you all the glory for opening up the nations to the glory and honor of your name. Have your way, O oh Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Don't worry the whole land will be full for. So we can shout, we can scream, nobody's going to tell us you are shouting too much. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen! Psalm 46 verse 1. Sorry, it's taking a moment because I'm used to mobile people and I've sacrificed my phone for the online stream this morning. So I just had to use my my uh, my paper Bible. And I want us to read together. Psalm 46 Verse 1. He said, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop here. The woman helped by God. The scriptures make us understand that God is our refuge and strength. And it's our help that we need. Because what? God is unlimited. Right from the time that the Lord created man and woman and put man and woman in the garden. We, are, we saw from the scripture. That we women, we are dependent on the help of God. And right from Genesis chapter 3, when the devil came to tell the woman, and you know, she fell into the trap of the, of the enemy, of the devil, and the Lord made that declaration concerning the woman. In pain you shall, be, you shall bring forth, in this and everything like that. And what did the Bible says inside that scripture, there is a provision of help. Amen. There is a provision of help. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, right from the time that the Lord created heaven and earth, and everything was so beautiful, the garden was so wonderful, but trouble came. And who brought the trouble? The devil brought the trouble. And we saw from the beginning that the devil has always been after women. He has always been after women because what? He's afraid of what God has placed on the inside of us. After all, Adam was the one God put in charge of the garden. And he was just there to be an helpmate. Why didn't the devil go after Adam? Why did he come after uh, uh, Eve? It is because there is something special in us. Amen. There is something great that we carry on the inside of us. 
And it is because when a woman sets her heart to do something, a woman can achieve it. And so what did he come to do? He wanted to, you know, to destroy and distract the plan of God. But God has already made a provision of help. How do I know God made a provision of help? The Bible made me to understand in that Genesis chapter 3 that the Lord always come down in the cool of the day to fellowship with them. So he didn't just put them in the garden. Mm -hmm. He created time to be with them. And by God, you know, coming down and fellowshipping with man, is God making himself available so that we can ask him of help. And that is what the Lord has done here this morning. Amen. This afternoon, he has created an avenue for us, Amen. even to cry unto the Lord, and he will help us. Amen. Amen. We have a father who cares about us. My mother in the Lord always says something. So we women, we are the last one of God. And I agree. Hallelujah. Amen. Because after women, God didn't create anything yes, again. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory yes. be to Jesus. Yes. So we are special. Go ahead and clap. Go ahead and celebrate. Hallelujah. Yes. He didn't create anything again. We were just the last one of God. Yes, mama. And the last one of God enjoyed the best of God. Oh, yes. Yes. So what is the Lord saying to us? My help is available. Amen. I don't want you to do life alone. I don't want you to go through the ups and downs of life alone. Scripture makes me to understand. In the book of John, chapter 16, verse 3, it says, In the world ye shall see many tribulations. We saw from Eve being in the garden. Just after God said everything, the devil came after her. So, woman, you don't need to go after the devil, he's already coming after you. That's the truth. You don't need to do anything. Just the fact that you are a woman. You are created by God. You are the last one of God. Then the devil will come after you. That is the thing. She didn't have to do anything. What did she do? Did she invite the devil? No way. Did this same serpent come? No. After all, serpent is not the only creature in that place. She was just on her own enjoying what God has created. And that is what is still happening today. No matter how good you are, no matter how much you mind your business, some people will still look for your trouble. That is the truth. No matter how soft spoken you have, no matter how you don't fight with anybody, and who is that person that is looking for your trouble? Is the devil? Is the one that steals up people? Is the one that raises circumstances? Is the one that raises problems in life to make sure that a woman is what a woman is haunted, a woman is you know is disturbed. The Bible says that you know men are over a few days, and you know the days are full of trouble. But the Lord has sent me with a message to tell us this morning. This afternoon, that you need not live life of trouble Amen. because my help is available. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. The help of God is available. He has us in mind. And what did he do? The woman held by God. We are that woman. Amen. We are the we are we, we are the women that God has helped. Mm. What did the Lord do? He made a provision by sending our Lord Jesus Christ mm. to come through a woman. She be my fair through a woman. He made a provision of help for us again through another woman. Yes. The scripture says that maybe the mother of Jesus in Luke chapter 1 verse 26, she was in her own village, in her own place. And, the, you know, and God sent the angel to her, saying, the angel, and he appeared, and he said, I'm at favor. You are highly favor. You are blessed and highly favor. And what was the Lord trying to do through Mary? To bring help to the whole world. First to the woman. Hallelujah. Amen. Because ah, you say it was you, it was it's you women that scattered things. If not for her, he in the garden of history, uh, Eden that scattered things. But now it is being said, it is we that back our Lord Jesus Christ. Because through Mary the Savior came to the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the truth. Through Mary, the Savior came to the world. And so, who is the woman that is helped by God? It is a woman. She is a woman that understands what it means to be a woman and knows that there are challenges in life and problems and different things that will come. Is a woman that understands her identity and is comfortable with her gender. She's comfortable with her gender. Some women today they are still they are 45, 50, and they are still thinking, ah, we shall not be a woman, even at age 50. They are still struggling. God didn't make a mistake by making you and I a woman. Amen. He did not make a mistake. And He's not leaving us to live our life just by ourselves. He created us 
and made arrangements, you know, and made, you know, arrangement for us to be helped. All along our journey, God has placed his help. Only if we can recognize and, you know, take the help of God. So who is a woman that is helped by God? A woman that is helped by God is a woman who has accepted Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior. Psalm 121 verse 1 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? He said, my help comes from heaven. Not from the people. Their new help is only by the Lord. See, there are things that in life, people cannot help you to do it. I understand that women do so easy now. You help another woman to carry a baby. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I tell you, you know, a woman cannot help another woman to die. Hallelujah. Can't say, you know, because I love you, you know. Let me just buy your place. No, I have never heard of that. And so the Lord said our Lord Jesus to show us that example. That see, I love you. I want to help you. I know you got causes. I know you got all the, the, the you know, verdicts. But I want to redeem you from the cause. I want to redeem you from all the trouble. I want to set you free. I want your life to be beautiful. I don't want your life to be full of pain and sorrow. And so what do we need? Accept the help of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So a woman that is a, a woman that is helped by God is a woman that has Jesus in her life. Amen. Not just by hearing it, but as a personal relationship. Amen. Thank God we are living in Western world. We are living in Europe. There are certain countries that when you go to, if you mistakenly ask people for direction on the road, you are going to miss your road, your way. Because what? Some do not even know how to decide. Some will not even answer. Imagine starting at home and say, help me, help me. You know, people will look at you and you are black. For that matter, God help you if you are living in a racist country. Glory be to Jesus. Nobody will start to help. But a woman that is by God is a woman that carries Jesus everywhere. On the mountain, the valley, the help of God is available. When the pregnancy is, is, is not doing well, when the pregnancy is doing well, when the children are doing well, when they are not doing well, she understands that she has a Savior Amen. who is available to help. The Bible says we, are, we do not have a night priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. So, in this place today, in this conference today, the Lord wants us to understand who we are. We are, we are special to God. Hallelujah. He wants us to leverage on our relationship with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I know that Mama Ijoma loves me so much. Hallelujah. Amen. I will leverage on that love. Amen. Hallelujah. I can call the individual of that. I call a shoot movie. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Because I know she loves me, she will rise up and do it. Hallelujah. Amen. So God loves us so much. And we can actually ask him for help. Jesus. But I want to quickly talk about our relationship with this father. Do you have a relationship with God? Do you have, do you know him? Do you have your place with him? You know, there are some children that they know their father very well. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, they will tell them that, you know, this, just push the girl to him. Anything you just want, anything, he will give you. And you know what? It is because those children, as small as they are, they've been able to study their father. I was looking at a oh, yes. video on uh, Instagram today. A man of God, the children were doing makeup for him, the girls. And he's like, they were painting his face, doing his face. You know, sat down quietly, you know. Imagine if it is the wife that say, I want to do that, or the boys. He will send them, hey, from where to where? Where are you coming from? So God wants you to know that you are special to him. Amen. Leverage on that. Ask him for help. There is nothing that you want that is not available in him. So therefore, when we look through the scripture, which we are going to be looking at some women, you will see that there are women that actually know God and took the help of God. And one of such women is, the, is in the book of Ruth chapter 1. Amen. The book of Ruth. In Ruth chapter 1 verse 16, when Naomi was telling, you know, Oprah and Ruth to go back, Ruth said to her mother in law he said, don't tell me to, to go back. He said, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. He said, your people will be my people. And your God will be my God. Amen. What did she say? 
She said, I believe in your God. I believe in this God. Yet it looked like my life is over. Like, I, what can be more terrible? A woman married for 10 years, old child, and then the husband died. Thank God that we are from Africa. Yeah? You know the next thing they will say? You say you are a witch. And is that not the next thing? You know, women, we are open to all manners of accusation. People will accuse us. They will say all manners of things. When I got married, newly, my mother in law told me, when we were leaving Nigeria and coming here, she said, huh? He said, my dear, you <clears throat> people are quick to judge a wife. If the husband is, you are called the husband and the husband is not picking for, is the wife. If you ask him for something and he didn't give you, is the wife. Hallelujah. In fact, if his clothes is going out and his rumpu, is the wife. And you know, as funny as it seems, but it is the truth. Glory be to God. People can easily wrap up things on the woman. But those who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Even though the life of Naomi was nothing to write home about, about it like a woman who has received help from God. But you know that it was by the help of God she can even return back. Yes. Many are lost in strange land. They are, they, they are seated where they are lost, you should not sit. And their ears and their eyes never open to the tongue. Some are in trouble by the trouble they cause by for themselves. Oh, yes. But their ears and their minds are not even open to know that this is the problem I cause for myself. But the help of God was extended to Naomi. What did the Lord do? The Bible makes us to understand that she arose and said, I'm returning back. We don't know whether that man prayed before they left. And they said, Woman, you should do what? Obey. And she followed. A woman helped by God is a woman that pray and commit the act of the husband because if you do not pray for your husband, they will take stupid decisions. That will destroy the whole family or arrange the whole thing. And then <clears throat> you, are, you are there. And she wants to go back. But who saw in this woman a ray of hope that there is a God that this woman has? I'm going to follow this God. I'm going to go with this God. And what did she say? Your people will be my people. Look through the story of the story of Ruth. You will see the hand of God Amen. navigating the writing story and the writing destiny. The enemy has destined that she will die by. But what did the God of Israel did? The God of heaven and earth. When the Lord stepped in and she took the help of God by coming to know the Lord. So when we are calling for altar call for salvation, I want to give my life to Jesus. It is God offering his help. Hallelujah. Is God offering his help. So she chose to accept the help of God. So you cannot be helped by a God you do not know. You cannot be helped by a God that you do not know, my sisters. She took the help of God and accepted Jesus and followed her mother in him. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, I will go with you. What is she saying? She said, Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Even though it's look as if there is no hope in him. I put them all on you. Oh, my trust is in you. Even when it seems there is no tomorrow. Do you know what? I'm sorry, the light is a little bit dark. I can't read so much. Do you know what Ruth said? Uh, Naomi said to her in Ruth chapter 1. She said, Go back. That even if I conceive tonight, hallelujah, and then I born tonight, are you still going to wait for the boy to grow? That means I have nothing to fuck to offer you. But what did Ruth say? He said, Your God will be my God. What is he saying? What is she saying? Lion of Judah, eh, my trust is in you. Eh, Lily of the valley, my trust is in you. Oh, 
own his strength. And you know what? The help of God began to manifest through Naomi. Because what did she become? She became a mentor. An instructor. Guiding the woman. Life returned to her. A woman that has lost her husband. That has lost two sons. Years have gone back. It seems as if all the years and all the time have been wasted. But this woman, my libro can't a libro chantalia. Another woman saw her God and said, I don't care what has happened to you. I don't care what has befell you. I don't care the prayers that you have been through. But I see God in you. Yes. Your God will be my God. Amen. Amen. The Lord is saying to someone here today, He said, I don't care your story or what you have been through. Because in days to come, women will run to you and say, I believe in your God. They will say, I believe in your God. They will say, I believe in your God. Your God will be my God. Oh, scripture make me to understand that when they go back, when they go back, this woman, people are greeting her. Welcome back. He said, don't call me Naomi. Call me bitterness. My libro so Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, don't call me Naomi. Call me bitterness. Because what? I went out full. Look at the way I'm coming back. But in spite of what you have been through in life, in spite of the mistakes and everything, see, God sees a great woman in you. Amen. I said, God sees a great woman in you. Even though you are giving up on yourself, the Lord is asking me to tell you this morning that I see a great woman in you. Amen. It doesn't matter your story. It doesn't matter what you have passed through. It doesn't matter the crumbs. It doesn't matter, you know, the pains. It doesn't matter the scratches. It doesn't matter the things that have happened. He said, I see a great woman in you. Amen. And you know what? It is that God that will make you to become. To become that woman he has raised you to be. Oh, I'm a single woman. I have children. Who is going to look? Even if I say I want to do ministry, who will listen to me? They will say, What testimony do you have? But the Lord says, I see a great woman in you. Oh, this is the reason why God has sent me here. And I'm putting the word. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Right on, mommy. I was writing, and you know, I've already put down things. And then yesterday night, or early this morning, the Lord brought the story of Ruth. He said it should be my first message. Amen. Now we couldn't see anything good in our life again. Please come and help me to press the camera again. Libro Satalia. But the Lord, who has plans, saw greatness in her. Amen. It is by the help of God that she could be done. What if she had died? Mm -mm. The Bible says that there is hope for a fig tree. Yes. Even though it is cut, it will spring yes. forth again. Yes. It doesn't matter what has happened. Yes. People might have run ahead of you. Yes. They might have achieved before you. Yes. My dear sisters, yes. you are not in competition at all. Yes. Because when your home comes, yes. which the Lord has said it has come, yes. you will arise gloriously yes. yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Don't call me this. Yes, that is the woman that wrote so God in her life. And what happened? Things began to spring forth. The Lord began to help Naomi to help Ruth. You see that? You, you, are, you are a woman helped by God, but you are not receiving God's help just for yourself. The help of God is to be extended from you to others. So, what did she do? They will begin to give her instructions. You know, she didn't know. Did she know of any relative God was? Was she thinking of any somebody who has left home for how many years? But as they returned, her faith was strengthened, and the Lord began to open her eyes. Amen. I pray for someone here tonight, Amen. this afternoon, that your eyes be opened. Amen. Amen. To see the potential that God has placed on the inside of you. In the name of Jesus. You are not empty. Do you know why God created us with womb? And he put all those cells and things in us. 
so that we can function. Oh yes. It is because when the girl, when the baby is from in the womb, from the moment the sex is determined, every egg that she needs to become a mother is already there. Yes. It's just for it to mature. Uh -huh. And then she begins to release it and you know, convert some to babies, use one as a monthly period every month. Hallelujah. So I decree that by this encounter this morning, that your eyes open to see the potential, the great things that the Lord has placed on the inside of you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I receive. Thank you. I receive. I receive. Suddenly, Naomi got the ministry. Even though it is not registered with the government, who cares? Yes. Hallelujah. Who cares? A woman who has lost everything, naturally, what will people do? They will start keeping away. They will say, eh, you better don't move near her. Her name is bad luck. Anything you see, even at that time, anything they thought is bad luck. But inside that, the help of God came. The Lord opened her eyes. And she said, okay, there is a cousin, there is a distant family member. He has a family. You go there. The woman that can anything good come out of Naomi now become the one that the help of God she began to see this. I decree you begin to see this. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The power of God and the presence of God is here. Libro so cantaria. You begin to see what others cannot see. Mysteries. The Lord begin to give you insights. Understanding. Amen. The Bible makes people understand that there is a spirit in mind, the breath of the Almighty that gives you what? Understanding. Inspiration. Which school did she go about mentoring? She didn't go. The Lord opened her hands. She said, You go there. You do this. You do that. And thank God for now, for which she obeyed. She obeyed. That's why I said you need a relationship with the Lord. Because if you don't have a relationship with the Lord, you will be proud and arrogant. Today, women are walking away from people that should help them. Yes. Because of pride, no. because of arrogance. Yes. And they will say, Why does she even have to mentor me? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I also understand. Even at two sons, I don't even know why I follow her then. Those who have just escaped from her, getting to the new land. Mm -hmm. That is why you need a relationship. So she did not just follow Naomi. Mm -hmm. She got to know that God. Do you know God? And she began to follow. As the woman guide her step by step. And you know what? Because the Lord helped Naomi, she did not misguide her. Every step that she took was something beautiful. She had no hope. She never thought some that girl getting married. It looks like for me, so it's okay, let's go and be serving God together. Even if it is prayer, we'll be praying. But they go back and the God of Israel stepped in and began to try. Tell her to do this. Tell her to do that. Tell her to move this way. Tell her to move that way. The Bible says, and everything happened. As around this first church. Let's read verse 4, chapter 4. I love this part of the scripture so much. And by the help of God, the destitute, the lonely, was put back in family. Amen. By the help of God, Ruth recovered years lost. Amen. Amen. I decree the covering of the years. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said the years that the Kanka woman has eaten, the locusts have eaten. I decree the covering of years. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Ruth did not only get a, this, you know, a, a, you know, a recovery of years. She got a recovery of her wounds. Her womb came alive again. Her womb came alive again. And you know what that happened? The Bible says Ruth chapter 4, yes. verse 13. Yes. Ruth 4, 13. What did the scripture say? Man in Roso Toria. Man in Roso Toria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's read Ruth chapter 4 first. Um, I can see the scripture. Verse 13, yes, I can see it now. Yes. So, Boaz took Ruth mm -hmm. and she became his wife. Yes. And when he went into her, mm -hmm. the Lord gave her conception. Oh, yes. Went into her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I imagine that typically as a woman, as a married woman, mm -hmm. went into her. That just one time, mm -hmm. one 
what she has not been able to accomplish for years, she took place. That is what I call the help of God. Amen. You know, someone will say, Well, you know, in our house, we don't plan for pregnancy. If my house had just touched me like this, I became pregnant. My dear sister is God's help. Amen. Some have been toiling night and day. Yes. And the help of God is available. Amen. Every woman that has been toiling night and day, Amen. seeking the law for conception, Amen. this month that God has had help, received help to conceive Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. She did not only became pregnant. She said, and the Lord gave her conception. Ah. It's of the Lord that gives conception. And she bore a son. The pregnancy was not miscarried. It wasn't flushed down the drain. And she bore a son. Now, nah, this is the more interesting part. Verse 14. Then the woman said to Naomi, the one who came back with bitterness, and said, look at it. He said, blessed is the Lord. Who has not left you this day without a close relative? Mm -hmm. What were they thanking God for? His help. Mm -hmm. His help. His help. So don't worry. Your children, your grandchildren, they will be numerous. Amen. There will be many. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will set you back in family. Amen. If there is anyone here today, you desire God to put you back in family. You want God to give you a home. It is not too late. Libra of Shatta. Thank you, Lord. Libra of Shatta. Having the testimony of a woman who has four children for four different men. The woman told me herself a story. Four children for four different men. And the Lord still gave her home. That is the help of God. Hallelujah. Of God is God's favor. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that the women now began to see and say, Now, me, see God. He look at his help. Look at what he has done. Yes. The Bible says in verse 16, then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. The Lord restored life back to Naomi. She that is without his son now became a, grand, a grandmother. She has even become more than a grandmother. Mm, yes. That which she has longed for for her two sons mm. for years. Mm. The help of God make it happen. Stand Amen. up on your feet. Oh, Let's pray with me. Father, thank you. Thank Can you. we have the keyboard, please? I always love to flow with keyboard. Lay Rose Santaria. The help of God is available. Amen. Is the Facebook still going on? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because of my battery, I will sit to charge it. Lay Rose Santaria. We saw you root a woman that was helped by God. I want us to go ahead and just praise this God of help. He said he's our refuge and strength. A very present help in time of trouble. I don't know the trouble you are going through. I don't know for how long it has been. But just bless this God. Who is more than able to help?
of single mothers and children and we pray for single and married. We want to appreciate God for that wonderful message our mommy has given to us. It touched a call in me. And I want to believe that God has sent his help not just to me but to you also in the name of Jesus. And he's extending the help to all our married women and their families and single mothers and children and single or married. I want to appreciate Mama for this opportunity to be able to lead this prayer because it really touched me. Amen. When he, she was ministering, it really touched the core in me. Now I know the reason why God asked me to come and I want to appreciate God for that opportunity because I believe and sincerely from the bottom of my heart that my help has come. Amen. And Amen. your help has come. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a big hat, a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's God trying to try to take you out of 
whole situation. God being there and putting his seal, putting his hand upon your life. So when they, we talk about the help of God, we are talking about the hand of God being mighty on your behalf. Hallelujah. So we are praying for every married woman and their family across the globe. Amen. From this moment onwards, we are praying, God will have a hand in their affairs. Amen. God will have a hand in their marriage. Amen. God will have a hand in their parenting. Amen. God will have a hand in their children. Can we begin to pray that prayer? Say, Lord, have your hand in their lives. Let your hand be upon their lives. Let your hand of righteousness be upon their lives. Be upon their children. Be upon their husband. Be upon their careers. Be upon the works of their hand. Those that are sorry, let your hand be upon them. Let your hand mightily be upon them in the name of Jesus. Your hand was upon Naomi. Your hand was upon Ruth. Father, let your hand. Your hand was upon the affairs of their lives. You begin to orchestrate help for them. You are ready somewhere, kept poor somewhere until they were able to come back. You are they are coming back. And when they came back, the help you have already stayed up for them, met them. Father, we are praying, oh God, that all our married women and their families, oh God, we see their, your hand upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray that in this season, when they need help, help will arise ahead of time in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that every family, every married woman and their family Whenever they need help, help will arise ahead of time. Help arose ahead of time of, of Ruth and, and, and Naomi. There was help already waiting for them when they were taking that step. The God arranged help for them. Ask the Lord to arrange help. To arrange help for every married woman in DODP, in women in ministry, across the globe. Let the Lord arrange over help ahead of time. Help ahead of time. Help ahead of time. Let the families of God. Not go down. Their families will not go down. No family will go down. The help of God will sustain every family. The help of God will sustain every family. Before they cry for help, help shall arise. I want you to begin to pray that prayer. That when they cry, before they cry for help, help shall arise in the name of Jesus. Before they become stranded, out of nowhere, help will arise in the name of Jesus. They will never be stranded. Pray that the Lord will send them help. That will rescue them out of every trouble. That will rescue them out of every financial trouble. Out of every marital trouble. Out of every physical problem. Whatever it is, let the Lord send them help. That will rescue them in the name of Jesus. Ask for help that will improve their lives. And that of their children. Begin to pray that prayer. Father, we ask you for help. That will come by the impulse of the Holy Spirit. Help that one that Holy Spirit will orchestrate. We ask you for that help that will transcend the abilities of men mortals. Marco sin the We are asking for that help that will fill their heart with wisdom and their heart with good things. In the name of Jesus, they will have wisdom how to parent their children. They will have wisdom on how to marry their husbands. They will have wisdom on how to organize their home. That help, oh God, we ask for in the name of Jesus. Then we need to ask for help that will come even when the environment does not permit that. The hey, when the environment does not agree, but that help will still be there. That help will still be there in the name of Jesus. Then we need to ask for help that will come even if they didn't ask for it. Hey, that help, even if they didn't ask for it, but the Lord will still bring that help. The Lord will still orchestrate that help. Marco said, the red devil in Naomi didn't ask for that help. Ruth didn't ask for that help. But God brought the help to them. God brought the help to them. Help back to see the right life. Let's go ask for help. That will come against all us. Hey, now this help came against all us. Ruth, help came against all us. Let me to ask that help. That will come to them against all us. They don't need to pay for it. They don't need to ask for it. But that help will still come in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are praying for our single mothers. And we are using Isaiah chapter 40, 1, 10 to 14. So for that, we say, fear thou not. I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Aha, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all that we are incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and they shall, and thou shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee, shall be as nothing. As, and, and as 
a thing of naught. For the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand, singing unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, fear not, I will help thee. Say the Lord, I'm the Redeemer, I'm the Holy One of Israel. I want you to pray for the single mothers that the Lord will indeed help them in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will give his people a change of story. We said they are like 
in the name of Jesus. Father, set to them, oh God. Masuka, in this place, oh God, you have ordained her. Father, set to them. Let your help come. As you help Ruth, help them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I want us to begin to appreciate God for us. I pray. I say, Father, we thank you. We bless you. Ah, thank you for your help. Come. We receive your help. We receive useful help us. We receive speedy help. We receive divine help. In Jesus' name. I pray for you, man, that the Lord Almighty will send you help. Amen. Send help to your husband. Amen. Send help to your children. Amen. Send help to your grandchildren. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All that the Lord has spoken concerning you, it will come to pass. And as we have prayed and intercede, even for ourselves, as married, as single, Lord will ask that this prayer is extended Amen. to everyone connected to us, Amen. to everyone connected to daughters of destiny, Amen. to everyone connected to women in ministry. Amen. There shall be testimony. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah as we take our seat. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. Amen. You know, when I went to Mr. the vessel, I could feel the prayer. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. God is here. Amen. Sister Karen, thank God for your life. Amen. We bless God for what the Lord has done and everyone who has helped and supported her from this. Amen. What God is doing here is significant. Amen. God is doing great and mighty things. Amen. And you know, there is always, whenever God wants to visit a place, he always looks for one person. Amen. The Samaritan woman had an encounter with Jesus yes. and she took the story back to her time. Amen. But Jesus, so the scripture of the cross understand that her life never remained the same again. Yes. And so it is your encounter. Amen. God just brought help to you. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can see that we switched the program a little when we're supposed to have the word. Welcome charge. We had a special number. We now had the intercessory prayer. I'm bringing us the word at this moment because the second word is just going to be ministration. Is my wonderful husband. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. I am a woman blessed and helped by the Lord. Amen. One of the ways by which God can show you his help is to give you the right person to marry. Amen. That's why my those prayers we are praying is very important. Yeah. And the Lord will show forth his help Amen. in the name of Jesus. We've been serving the Lord together in the ministry for over 12 years now. I was the one who first was called into the ministry. And one of my prayers when I was single was like, Lord, I don't want a man who marry me and will tell me ministry is over. Hallelujah. Amen. But by the help of God, by the help, by whose help? By whose help? By the help of God, not because of how careful I was, or holy I was, or righteous I was. I got the best of the best that the Lord has apportioned for me. So I'm not discussing that there are no other best, but I'm saying what He has apportioned, the best of the best of the best of what He has apportioned for me. Hallelujah. We have prayed together this morning even interceded on behalf of this program. It's been such an encourager. A father, a prophet. He sees ahead. He's indeed a head. And God has been helping him. When we got married, our ministry was almost 15 years then. And I can tell you that the last 12 years have been the best so far. Amen. Because what the Lord has used it to encourage me to move on. We are together serving God in the ministry now. Amen. And we'll be bringing the word from home. Is it this part of God's help? Yes. He said, you go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's praying for us. So with Jesus' joy in our hearts, I will say, standing ovation. Please let's welcome my beloved husband, Dr. Olurike Fatisi. As he brings us the message, woman cry out. Help is available. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus. And the next voice we shall hear shall be his voice. Hallelujah. Over to you, sir. I won't sit down until you say hallelujah. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I bless the name of the Lord for this privilege the Lord has given to me. Amen. To be in the midst of this blessed woman helped by God. Amen. And I pray that the God of heaven will continue to help everyone of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. By the grace of God, I just want to appreciate my dear wife once again for this privilege she has given to me to be in the midst of you. And I pray that the God of heaven will continue to increase you Amen. and empower you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The voice will continue to be high all over the world Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Great and mighty things the Lord will continue to do through your hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray together? Yes. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for how far you have helped us. Thank you for the message. Thank you for all the things you have been doing. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we go into your word, Holy Spirit, minister to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 And I, once again, I want to appreciate Minister German. Pastor Ijama for coming and Minister Ulupumbe, Odrayo, and Sister Kenan, and everyone who has been working behind the scene. May God continue to empower you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I have been given this privilege to minister to you of woman crying out. Help is available. Hallelujah. I want you to say to yourself, help is available. Help, help is available. Help is available. Help is available. And I pray that the help of God will locate everyone of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God for my wife that the Lord has raised up as the container of this DOD period. She has been helped by God and she has been helped by God and she will continually be helped by God Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And she has been comprehending with you this very day and God has elevated her and God will continue to elevate her more Amen. and more in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Now we want to look at the word of God. When we look at that um, time talking, woman cry out, help is as many We see a woman a personality, we see Christ, a verb, and we see her also. And now we see the three <clears throat> important words from that topic. Woman, Christ, her. And as we cry on to God today, may God himself hear your prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you talk about her, that means you need something. You cannot achieve something, but you need help. You need support. Amen. You want to get something. You want to. You want something to be to, uh, to be easier for you. That is the meaning of help. And now it can be in the area of your marriage. Mm. You need help in your marriage. You need help in your parenting. You need help in your in, in, in your career. You may need help in your ministry. You may need help in your concerning your physical body. And now, this is the time, help is available. Amen. And God Himself will surely help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the political world, in the spiritual world, in the, in the, in the economic world, in all the country, there is no one that, no personality, no individual can say he or she is independent. One way or the other, one needs help. And that's why we are here today, that God. You need your help. Thank God for that powerful message by my wife. May God continue to increase you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our help comes from God. And now we have an example in the Bible. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6, from verse 26. If you have your Bible, I want you to read along with me. In 2 Kings, chapter 6, from verse 26. If you read from verse 25, the Bible says there was a famine in the land of Samaria. So that there was a problem 
there was a need, and now they needed help from somewhere. And now look at Battle of the Sea. And at the gate of Israel was passing by upon the wall. There cried a woman unto him, saying, Help, my Lord, O King. Look at it. This woman, there was a problem in the land. Instead of outgoing the higher personality, the supreme being, God, God, but she went to the king. And look at the answer of the king. And look at the answer in verse 27. And he said, If the Lord, if the Lord did not help thee, where shall I help thee? Out of the bank floor or out of the wine press? This, look at the answer of this king. She replied, he replied her, How can I help you? We are limited. The help cannot come from you. Though I'm your king, but I cannot help you. That is the situation of some of us. Instead of us going to God, we will go to our fellow man. And no wonder the Bible says in Jeremiah 17, verse 5, that God gave the man who put it or our trust in man, or who made the arm of flesh his friend. That is the word of God. The Lord is saying we should not put our trust in God. Though God will use men for us, but we must put our trust in God. But look at what God and look at the answer of the king here. He said, I cannot help you. And no, no matter the disappointment, you must have received up to this very moment. The Lord is coming to help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a heart available. And as you tap into this help today, the God of heaven will surely strengthen you and help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To reach for that, the second king who said he could, he could not help the woman because the family was so sore in the land of Santuria that they were killing their children and eating them so, so sad. Mm -hmm. But look at verse 1. The same king who rebuked the woman said, Look, I cannot help you. Look at this woman. Look at the king. The Bible said in verse 31, for so that second king, chapter 6, the Bible says, Then he said, God do so among all children. And if the head of Elisha, the son of Sheba, shall stand on him this day. This man also can stand his own aggression unto another human being, prophet Elisha. Look at this. The same thing. My husband, you have not done this. And the other man looks at another man, looks for help from another man. Look what, look at this problem. I have this challenge, transfer of the aggression. And the same thing happens here. But thank God for Prophet Elijah. Thank God for Prophet Elijah. It's Elisha. She made up, he made up his mind that he would not transfer his own aggression to anybody. Look at verse 7, chapter 7 of 7 Kings, chapter 7, verse 1. The Bible said, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow, and for this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for his shepherd, and two measures of barley for his shepherd in the gate of Samaria. This is the word of the Lord for you today. And I pray that the help you have been seeking from the Lord. The Lord will be this on you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you God for the prophet. Elijah went to God and said, Look at the situation of Samaria. I know the help can come from you. The woman asked for help from the king. The king now said she wanted to kill Elijah. But thank God for the spirit of God. Elijah went to God and Elijah focused his trust in God. Put his trust in God and help came down. Not only to him, but to all the children of Israel. And that's why God has placed you here today. You are here in comprehending the man today. For a purpose, God said he wants to help you. Not only that, he wants to use you to help others. Financially, spiritually, physically, economically, emotionally, Amen. in all areas of your life. The Lord has said he wants to use you. And he will use you as your life, as a beacon of hope Amen. unto others. And he will use you mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. True to the saints of the man of God, there was surplus in the land of Samaria. The word of God came forth. And thank God for this program. Woman helped by God. God has raised up this program. 
He did not, did not take it to that country. He brought it to here in Denmark for a reason. Because there is a woman who needs help. There is a woman who needs help. There is a woman who needs help. Yeah. Who is that woman? If you are that woman, tell Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Tell Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Please locate you today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That is another person who sought for help from another man. But look at the temperate one in Genesis chapter 30. Let's look at Genesis chapter 30 from verse 1. Genesis chapter 30 from verse 1. And when Rachel saw that she feared Jacob no children, look at it. There was a need in the house of Jacob. Rachel, no child, nothing, nothing, no offering. And she, she feared Jacob no children. Rachel envied her sister Leah. And then she said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. Mm. Look at verse 2. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I a God's child who has withheld me from the fruit of the womb? The same way king, the king took that woman. The same thing Jacob did here. And that is what he has done. Sometimes I heard a woman of God say, if she didn't if she didn't earn any money from her husband, she will pray to God first, God, and make money. Use my husband to pray. Mm-hmm. The woman will first channel her prayer to God and then ask the husband, please and make money. Because the husband is not the whole it, 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 it depends on God also. So when you contact the whole, the supreme being, the supreme being will bring supply to the husband, mm-hmm. to the husband, to mm-hmm. your husband. And the same thing he happened there. Jacob said, I'm very God's chair. And that is what we are doing today. Whatever you need, ask God first. If there is need to ask somebody or to ask God, pray to God, seek God, because the help you are looking for is from God, and God can use anybody. Mm-hmm. And look at the statement of this prayer. He said, give me children. Are, are you looking for the fruit of the womb? Children, or you are looking up to God for one thing or the other, the Lord will help you today. He deliver your miracle to your heart Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. And look at what is happening here. You are going to make a confession before I move on. Look at the confession of the children. Give me children or else I die. And what happened to Rachel at the end of the day? She died. She came back to Joseph, and then at, uh, when she came back to Benjamin, and what happened, she gave up the cross. She did not eat the fruit of her labor. Mm. She had complete negativity. She gave me children or her and that, and she died. They are going to make the confession before we go. That every negative one that has spoken against my sister and my family, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and begin to pray. And then every negative one has spoken against my sister, against my sister, against my family, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus of mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord has promised us. How? Look at Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41. Because you are talking about hell. And this hell, God has given us the trouble. In Isaiah chapter 41, from verse 10. Isaiah 41, verse 10. The Bible says, I want you to follow this verse very well. This is the word of the Lord for you. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse in 10, the Bible says, Fear thou not, woman of God. Fear thou not, thou woman. The Lord is saying, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. This is the promise of God for you. And to hold on to this promise, the Lord is saying, fear not. Every spirit of fear the command from your spirit from your life right now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to come out in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, 
fear down for. It is fear that leads us to seek help from where we want not to seek help. It is the fear that leads us to where we are today. Some of us, if you look me one day, if you look in one and see where your situation right now, you will see that the primary source of that problem is fear. And God is saying today, fear not. Fear not, woman. Fear not. For I am with thee. God is right beside you. You may be looking at that man, that, that man sitting by your right hand or by your right, by your left, but the Lord is saying, I'm right by your side. Amen. The Lord is with you. Fear, fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. God is going to help you. Amen. God is going to strengthen you. Amen. God is going to uphold you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God is going to uphold you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you look at this word, the Lord is saying, there is help. And you will receive that help today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23 and see another help. In Luke chapter 23, from verse 39. In Luke chapter 23, from verse 39, Luke chapter 23, verse 39, the Bible says, and one of the main factors, talking about the things on the cross, and one of the main factors which their hand rain on him, saying, Leave thou the Christ, save thyself and all. Jesus was in the middle, and the other two things, they were on the left and the right. And then one of them began to rail to rail on Jesus. He began to shout on Jesus. Both of them they were in vain. But look at what happened. But the other answering, the other thing answering, rebuked him, saying, Does not thou fear God? Say thou art in the same condemnation. And we in and we indeed trust him. For we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss, and he said unto Jesus, Lord, this man recognized his name. Look at this man. This man recognized his situation. He recognized that this man is the only one that can help him. Look at it. And he said unto Jesus, Lord. He remember, he said, Lord, this man is not just a narrow man. This is God. And he said, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. Amen. And look at the answer of Jesus. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. What is this one telling us? The two things we are beside Jesus. They have the same opportunity. They have the same nearness, the Savior. They had everything to ask for her. But one rebuked Jesus, but the other one said, No, I need her. I need her. Now if you look at yourself, this man needed the help of God. He needed the help in the area of his spiritual life. And thank God he received that help and he got to, he got to heaven. And now, are you still living in sin? The Lord is telling you something today. There is an opportunity for you. Jesus is right by your side. And Jesus is whispering to your ear. Can I help you? In this, in this your spiritual state, if you die in this situation, you may not get to heaven. The Lord is whispering. Do you need my help? This man said, I need your help. And he said, Jesus, remember me. And that will be your prayer too. Don't remember me. And in this, my, my spiritual life is not to write home about. Don't I need your help? I'm so proud. I'm so, I'm easily given to anger. I'm so, I'm envious. I'm jealous. Anything you can think of, the Lord is saying there is help. Mm -hmm. If only you can say, God, help me. And as you call upon God, the God of heaven will help you. And He will deliver you. And they will set you free, and the heart will come on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God for this man, he recognized Jesus. Amen. And the heart came to, to him, and now he's enjoying in heaven. Yes. And I pray together, none of us will miss heaven in the name of Amen. Jesus. The great to continue to do the will of God. May the Lord grant unto every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now you may be wondering, how can I get help from God? 
They did only by crying to God out of season and season or what are the things I need to put in place. Now we go to Matthew chapter 15. We are going to look at that celestial woman, the woman, that Canaanite woman. Let's look at Matthew chapter 15 from verse 21. Matthew chapter 15 from verse 21. We are going to look at five trees in this from verse 21 to verse 28. I want to read along with me and then, and then as we read, we begin to see what you need to do. How to receive help from God. How to, the Bible says, woman cry. That the topic says, woman cry out. Help is available. As you hide that pain, today is the day. The Lord is saying, enough is enough. You cannot bear that pain alone. Jesus is the body bearer. He's calling upon you now. Amen. Will you share your Will you, will you share your body with me? Will you don't resist your body to everything and put them on the shoulder of Jesus? The Bible says, Come on to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The rest is coming to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. The rest is coming to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 15, from verse 21, the Bible says, Then Jesus went there and departed into the court of Tyre and Sidon. Look at verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him. Look at the same crying again. He cried, she cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously dead with a devil. Look at this woman. She cried out. She did, not keep, she did not keep the pain. She did not keep the problem. She cried out and said, There is a savior. There is a savior. And thank God for the for the, for the confirmation of the word of God. The Lord is saying, I am with you. God is trying to be where you are right now. And as those that are listening on on on, on the first week of this, the Lord is saying, God is with you right now. Amen. Look at this. The first thing you have to do is you want to seek the heart of God. Look at this woman. The Bible says the woman came to Jesus, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. What do we see here? We see pray, 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 pray. That is pray, O oh Lord, thou son of David. You can say pray to God. If you want to seek the help of God, number one key is pray. You have to pray God. Don't pray to your problem. Don't pray to human beings. Pray God. Then the number two, the woman has said, after praising God, the woman has said, now my petition, that is the second one, petition, the request, petition, he said, my daughter is grievously pregnant with a devil. What is that problem you are having? You know it. My husband is somebody, is, is, is something her. If that is a problem, and then you can bring them to God and say, God, I want to touch the hand of my husband. My children, they are going very well. Lord, that is the problem. They come to God. Like this woman said, my children, they are going very well. Lord, have the son. Lord, I've been in this camera for many years now. I'm going to get my resident money. And the government, the government is proving strong. That is the problem. You can tell God, this is my residence, this should not be done. And then you look at your career, Lord, and then you get a one day, beautiful job, a beautiful job. Or you are wanting, you don't have a job. That is the problem. A petition, you bring it before the Lord and say, God, I need your life in this area. And then your, maybe your ministry, you know, your ministry is not growing the way it's supposed to. And then you ask God, this is the problem. Lord, I need your help in my ministry. You need help, but no matter the problem, or even your physical health, your health is failing. But you, and then look at yourself. Am I going to die like this? In my, will my family die like this? Will my relatives die like this? No! God is saying there is a hurt, there is a healing, there is a balm that, that, the, the balm of Gideon that is still strong as ever before. That's the power of Jesus. And the Lord is saying, Come unto him and bring your petition. Thank God this woman said, Jesus, there is a problem. My daughter is beautiful, death is a devil. I cannot hide it anymore. You will not hide it anymore. Amen. You will not hide that problem anymore. Amen. You are coming to the right place. Amen. And the Lord is speaking to you. And God is going to answer you. 
today in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. The next fact, the Bible says, for the answer had not a war, and the disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cried afterward, This woman, she's from Cana, we know what you are near of. This woman, she's a gentile, we know what you are near of. This woman, she's living in Copenhagen, she's living in Denmark. We don't want to have anything to do with her. But thank God, Jesus loves everyone. Amen. But what do we see here? Number three, we see our persistence. Persistence. Now, number one, praise. Number two, petition. Number three, persistence. Let's read for that. Jesus did not answer. Maybe you have been praying. No. This of my heart, don't search me. In my company, search me. In my country, search me. And yet, you have not received any word, any answer from the Lord. What are you going to do? Will you just fold your hand and say, come on, I don't have anything to do with Jesus? No. Jesus is the only hope you have. Mm. Jesus is the only hope you have. Mm. And look at it. But I said, but the answer and the third. I am not standing, but on the last chief of the house of Israel. Mm. Uh -huh. Jesus, what are you telling me? Am I not part of the people? Am I not part of your of the children? They look at the Bible said, then came she and worship him. Pray, Lord, help me. Are you going to do like that? You have been praying concerning that problem, concerning that challenge, concerning that situation, and the answer seems to be far away. But what are you going to do? You come back to God again. You watch it God again. You pray to him again and say, Lord, I know you are my only hope. Lord, help me. This woman cried unto God and said, God, help me. And God and she prayed, Lord, help me. Look at it. And the, the answer and said, It is not me, it is not right to take the children's bread and to cut it to the door. And she said, Through the door, yes, the dog, eat of the crumbs which fell from the master's table. What do we see here? Number four, we see perception. Number one, praise. Number two, petition. Number three, we see, uh, we see the, 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 we see number one prayer, we see the uh, petition, and then we see a perception. Then number four, we see what? Perception. Look at it. Jesus, to, in, in, in a nutshell, you can say, oh, am I a dog? But the woman did not say, ah. You call me a dog, then go with your with, with your own core power and leave me alone. The perception, the woman did not bother. Some women, they might have received maybe a man of God snub snub them, uh, snub them or somebody snub them and they say, because of that, I'm no more, I will not go to that church again. I will not have anything to do with that woman of God again or that woman of God again. Because of little misunderstanding. Mm. But this woman knew what she needed. Ah, she said, my daughter, I love this so much. I don't want anything to happen to you. But the perception here, mm. negative perception, so to say, but this woman said, no, I need a miracle. I want something from the Lord. And it said, it is not me to take the children in and to cast it to the dog. But she said, do not. Yet the dog is of the crown which fell from the master's table. In other words, Jesus, if you call me a dog, I accept. But if that is your own perception, but I have something I'm looking for, then <clears throat> look at the next verse. In verse 28, then Jesus answered and said unto her, the same way Jesus is going to answer somebody today. Amen. Oh woman of oh woman, great in thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And then her daughter was made whole from that very hour. What do we see here in verse 28? We see possessor of a great miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She became a possessor of a great miracle. Number one, we see prayer. Yeah. Number two, we see petition. 
Number three, we sit by Christian. Number four, we, we sit uh, we sit the uh, uh, perception. Then number five, possessor of great miracles. And that is what God is calling me to do today. That as you are coming here today, asking God, God, do something in my life. This is me. I need to help. Number one, you pray God. Then you now bring number two, your petition, you now bring your petition, your request before God. Then number three, you have to keep on praying and keep on praying. Passing in the place of prayer, in the place of worship, in the place of prayer, and then the perception. No matter what is happening, people may be calling you different names. Don't worry. God is right by your side. And then what will not be your final testimony? You will become a possessor of a great name. Mm-hmm. And that is the opportunity today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. We see a lot of people in the Bible, they waited on God. They waited on God. And we saw Sarah, she gave she received an ID. Mm-hmm. We saw Anna, she received an own hand, our example. We saw many of them in the Bible. And God came through for them. And God is going to come through for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will give you your own name. You will testify. Amen. You will testify. Amen. You will testify. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now let's look at Mark chapter 10, verse 51. Mark chapter 10, verse 51. Woman cry out. I want to say Look at this man, and that man came to Jesus. Look at Mark chapter 10, verse 31, verse 51, verse 51. And Jesus answered and said unto him, This is talking about the blind Bartimaeus. Yes. And Jesus said, What will be done that I should do unto thee? Yes. The Lord is asking you today, woman, as you are sitting there listening to my voice, listening to this message of God. The Lord is saying, the same way God asked the plan by the what will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sign. He knew what he wanted and he cried unto God and he received it. No wonder that this man's eyes got open and he followed Jesus in the way. But the Lord is asking you, woman, as you are sitting here, what did that happen to you? What did that help you are seeking from God? The, act, the time has come. The Lord is saying, what do you want me to do? I'm right by your side. I will help you. I will uphold you. No matter the gravity of that situation, no matter the magnitude of that problem, no matter how big that challenge is, the Lord is able. He is able. He is able to give you rest. My dad said, look at Exodus chapter 23, verse 14. Before we pray, Exodus chapter 23, verse 14. This is the word of God in you for you. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 14, the Bible says, And he said, My presence shall go with thee, yes. and I will give you rest. Amen. That is what is coming to you. Amen. As you are crying to God for help, <clears throat> rest is coming. Amen. When you have help, you have presence of God, Amen. you have rest of God. And I decree and declare that the presence and the rest of God be, and the help of God also be abandoned you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to write some and begin to pray of God. You have had the word of God. Woman to cry out. Help is happening. Help is happening. Open your heart and forget to cry unto God. You are not going to cry unto anyone. You are not going to cry unto anyone or unto God. God is saying, and I am crying by His and we are Open your mouth and begin to pray. Praise God. Don't worship Him in the picture of His holiness. Praise God. Man, we have His holiness. Worship Him. Praise Him. Let's look at that woman of King. She worship God. She pray for God. Open your mouth and begin to pray God. Magnify the name of the Lord. For the Lord has been so, so good to you. Oh, bless his holy name. Worship him. Bless him. Magnify his holy name. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I reverence you. The great God, the good God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have watched it. I want you to open your mouth right now. The woman said, I petition before God. What do you want God to do? What do you want God? What is your petition? What is that challenge? What is that problem in your life? Open your mouth and begin to 
I need God. Say, hey, don't put your hands and pray and pray. Go. Take your petition to God. God is ready to answer you. Concerning your husband, concerning your children, concerning your career, concerning your residency, concerning your health, concerning your family, concerning your kingdom, concerning your country. Concerning every area of your life, oh, anything that pertains to you, open your mouth and begin to cry. Heart is available. Heart is available. God is very good. God is very good. It is very to carry that food. Carry that food. Carry that food. Carry that food. And break that food. Open your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to open your mouth and say, God, give me the prayer to God. I will not be tired. I will participate in the place of faith. I will not be weary. Open your mouth and pray that you don't have every discouragement in my life. Take it away. Take every discouragement. Every discouragement. Take it away. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, open your mouth and pray. Lord, no matter what, no matter what others will say, no matter what others will do. For the way they say, I'm telling you, I will hold on to you. I will hold on to you. I will hold on to you. I will not be here to the right or to the left. I will keep trusting in you. Open your mouth and say, I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your grace. And she is a mighty little girl. Amen. The woman got a miracle. She became a possessor of the great miracle. Are you going to receive your miracle today? God said, yes. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, I receive my help today. I receive my blessing today. I receive my miracle today. I receive my blessing today. I receive my blessing today. I receive my answer today. I have a process of the great miracle. I have a process of the great miracle. I have a process of the great miracle. I receive it. I receive it. Amen. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name for your word. Thank you, Father, because you are our God. Receive all the praises in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we put ourselves before you. In every area we have put our trust in men. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we seek grace to look up to you. Amen. And only and alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The great to praise you, to praise you, to remain persistent in the place of prayer, to continue to do your will, and to be a to be great possessor of great miracles. Release of trust in the mind. Amen. And to continue this program, Lord, this is what one thing. Amen. In Jesus mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Say, I am a woman helped by God. I am a woman helped by God. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are sure that you are sure that you are a woman held by God, hallelujah. you are receiving his help. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 God bless you, man of God, sir. Amen. We pray that the Lord will increase you on every side in the name of Jesus. Amen. He is a man helped by God. Amen. And I pray that more of God's help you will receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will continue to help you. Amen. The Lord will continue to sustain you. Amen. The Lord will continue to keep you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. More revelation of the mind of God. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Women are we blessed. Because I would want us to finish even at the time that we ought to finish. 
by the grace of God. We are blessed already. I'm already feeling fulfilled you, that you know the purpose of God bringing us. Thank God for the testimony that Mama Ijoma said. You, now I know why God brought me. Because sometimes people are like, ah, I can connect online. I will go in October. I will go in this time. But sometimes God will arrange an encounter. While man of God was preaching, I was going through my notes, you know, jotting down, you know, what he's saying then. My mind went back to what the Lord told me. And he told me that, you know, that, you know, about the Canaanite woman, you know, and I think I mentioned it earlier, but there was something I wrote down that the Lord told me, that Jesus did not need to pass through that area, but he had to go through it, because that is the place of encounter. It also means that there is a place where God has arranged help. I pray for you, Amen. and I pray for myself, Amen. that the Lord will order ourselves, or then ourselves, to go to where he has made provision Amen. for help, in the name of Jesus. Amen. What if that woman didn't come out to fetch water? And it was only that one woman though, yes. that Jesus had to speak to. Sometimes God will just make us do things. In my life and ministry, I don't ask questions from God. Once he just say go, once he say do it, there are things I did years ago that it is not that I'm understanding. Because Lord, I trust the Lord. Why would the Lord arrange a meeting here? Even where we will still have other meetings. Why? Because this is a place where he has chosen to encounter his daughter for help. Thank you, Jesus. There's one of us as we were praying the other time that God was just showing me things about her. That this meeting was come because of this woman. You know when I said that, I said the woman that God helped. Amen. A particular woman. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And God is here. Same thing is what he wants. We give thanks to the Lord. Amen. The Lord still has more for us. Amen. And all he has for us will receive of him Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the ministry of Jesus, we saw in places where he will go. I was reading in the plane yesterday. I think it was in Luke. I was reading different accounts of it. That the crowd was so much pushing on Jesus that he had to get into the boats. Yes. The scripture said they were pushing on him. But yet, he still had to pass through Samaria to speak to only one woman. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. The woman helped by God. It's actually that can help kill that woman. In fact, that's from where the Lord gave the main thing of this program. Because what? Jesus had to turn his journey to come to a place where she would be. It will like mean Jesus came to visit her. Because the Bible says it was really the time that she would come and fetch water. So whenever God chooses a venue, it is for a purpose. Amen. This is so strategic and this is so divine. And I'm receiving my own help too. Hallelujah. Whenever God says I should want a program, I don't want a program just because oh I want to do it. I position myself to receive. Yes. Because women of God sometimes God will just He will give you a topic. You will think it's for the people. Uh -huh. I tell you, you are the one that need that topic. Oh, amen. If you are not sensitive, you just miss out. Uh -huh. You just think, well, you know, it's just for the people. Lord bless them. I hey. always correct our intercessions. Don't just be interceding for people. Include yourself yeah. in the prayer. Don't just say, ah, Lord, we pray you speak to the people. Then what happened to you if God speaks to the other people? And you are dead. Ah, you know, we were the one that prayed, you know. Every prayer point we prayed happened. Mm. And you know, experience anything. Mm. We were having a conference like this. And one of the sisters that they were arranging things together was just strolling into the program, you know, almost at the end of everything. And I was asking her, I said, you did attend conference, so you only interceded for conference. May that not be our place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May we not get familiar with the Lord. Amen. Because each place where Jesus be, it is fresh revelation. Insights into the mind of God. Amen. So God bringing us here is strategic. And so our ministry is a moving ministry. And then we have this, um, the women ministry. And when we are preparing, one of the words when God said, God, I did, I'm not just dropping and dropping or gallivating. Somebody told me, say, you're gallivating. I said, eh! Hey! Mm -hmm. He said, no, that's not what I meant. Mm -hmm. You don't tell me that one gallivating. You think I don't have anything to do and I just, I just want to see the world around. And I'm, do you think it's, 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 it's God that is strengthening me? Prophetic. It's prophetic. Yes. God is making me to enter territory and so he sees it there. Yes. That's why you know people miss out on blessing. You don't see what God is doing. Mm. You cannot connect to it. Hey. God said all doors are open. Hey. And he said,
And I was saying, what the word was given. You, know? you did not jump on the train. Mm. I was thinking of you yesterday. I said, four places we have got together now in this open door. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It is because in every place what God is doing is different. Amen. Yes. Yes. I'm not gallivating, I'm not hoping. Mm -mm. I'm doing the work of the master. Mm -mm. And I'm getting blessed for it. Yes. And this did not just happen. Mm -hmm. It is not just happen. Mm -hmm. The Lord said that word openly to have witness. Because it is what he has planned. Mm -hmm. What he has decreed. There are things we do in secret that now open the door. Mm -hmm. I tap into your grace. So, you know, <laughs> From, from where to where? Mm. It's by the help of God that we must recognize where God has encountered us. It's like He wants to encounter us. So this afternoon we're going to be watching a short movie. So I was praying, what I actually to shoot another short movie, but uh, uh, glory be to Jesus. Then the Lord reminded me that, no, not that one, sir. There's another one there. There's another, there are three videos. And then the Lord reminded me this movie. And he said, a woman helped by the Lord is a builder. Hallelujah. Hmm. Because Proverbs 14 verse 1 says, a wise woman builds her home. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is not cheap. Not if wisdom is cheap, you will, you will, you will not have seen some comment we see on the social media. Because some people will just see A and write 20 hundred in there. They will be wondering. Wisdom demands that before you write something, you read it. Comprehend, understand it. I saw a video clip on Facebook. The brother was talking in sarcastic, a sarcastic way. But what he was saying was so clear and straight. And I saw people going on that post to fight him. And I said, wisdom is not cheap. It's not for everybody. So he takes the help of God to be able to build. About um, six years ago, I think six years now, I was invited for a women conference in another part of Spain. And I think it was a three days conference. So I arrived on Friday, Minister Friday, the Minister Saturday, Minister Sunday. So in the hotel where the place where I was hosted, um, I just felt so strong in my spirit. It was said about if I arrived this time, I remember now, that there should be a drama, a movie that should be part of the movie program. As I was receiving that inspiration. That my husband was at home with us, so he was receiving inspiration to start that one man drama. Huh. While he did that, me, I went, yes, that is the one, I think so. Me, I was going ahead and the Lord gave me inspiration. Huh. Inside the hotel room with one camera there like that, I shot the movie and I used to travel with our hard drive and join other things to it. Don't let me talk too much. Be blessed by the movie Amen. Testimony of a Builder. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, thank you for the way you are blessing us. You, Lord. Lord, we receive grace even to be blessed through this message. Amen. The Lord, this is one of the ways you are giving us a solution of help through this movie. Yes, Speak to us, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Over to you, sir.
Hallelujah. Okay, while we are waiting for the movie, before we watch the movie, Hallelujah. We're going to, let's add seminar. I think it's our connection first, so that we don't waste time. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, you can do it from there, Sammy. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Then maybe we can just post. No. Yeah, mommy, can you please uh, search for the, the, the movie over there? Okay. I see what you mean. You are on music. I have to go to YouTube. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sorry, women of God. This is music, YouTube.
children began to fight in school because they always see me, you know, argue and fight with their father every time. Don't forget, I told you we were going to church. We were religious, but that didn't stop us from fighting. Many times I've gone for counseling with our pastor, our pastor's wife. Even my home parents have called me several times to, you know, to counsel me about marriage. But you know that it wasn't working at all. It wasn't working, not one bit. I realized that something was wrong with my life. I realized that there was something missing. And then one day, I was invited for a women conference. And at the women conference, the woman of God that ministered, she spoke with power and with authority. And these people, they have a source. That source was Jesus. Tonight, come close to God. Don't stay far from Him. Give Him knowledge. You see this Bible. Please help me tell your sister, read it. Read the Bible. Spend time with God, not just to come to church. Of course, coming to church is important. But until you know God, he said they took note of them that they had been. Being means you have been staying with him. Jesus, because it's the solid rock. The Bible says, 
the one that, that received the word of God and that take it to it is like a man and in this case a woman that built his house on the road. And to the glory of God, I took the word of God. I began to build and begin to pattern my life according to God's word. And since I did that, things changed in my life. My life never remained the same again. I became a transformed woman. My home transformed as a result of that. And my children today. That is why you see them, Sister Linda, that they are outstanding. They are outstanding and they are doing well for the Lord. My dear Sister Linda, for you to be able to build your home and have a beautiful, wonderful home established on the rock, then it is time for you to give your life to Jesus. You can't stop all those habits yourself. You can't stop all those negative characters yourself. You need the help of God. Are you ready now? I'll pray with you.
you are looking at your phone. You didn't see. <laughs> From all our films. I've seen it. Not <laughs> that is the help of God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That, is the, that is the manifestation of his help. He will bring things to our memory. He will remind us. He will show us how to do things. And people will be saying, ah, all your things are always excellent. It is because it is God's help. Say, Father, I receive your help. To function in life and ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. Today I make up my mind to take your help. Help me, help me. Help me, my Negro Sukata. The Holy Spirit had to remind me of that movie this morning. And he said, that's the movie to watch. My Negro Sukata. Negro Sotoria. Everything you need is around. It is by the help of God that our eyes can be open. And we can see the water that the Lord has provided. We can see the blessings that he has arranged. We can see the things that he has done. If you want to get up, get up. If you want to sit down, sit down. Just make sure you are praying. The Lord did not just ask us to show this movie. It is because his help is available. We did less than two hours. I was able to edit it, put it together, and we were, you know, to, to go and show it in the church. I will put it on your Facebook. Testimonies came from me. I put it on YouTube. My Libro Sotoria. Father Lord, I have realized that your help is available. Help me, Lord, to stand out in life and ministry. We need the help of God. And the message in that will movie, the only problem in that home is the character of that woman. I want us to cry to God and say, Father, help me. Some people's character has chased away helpers from them. Some people's character is what puts them out of their husband's hand. Some people's character is what repel others from them. Say, Father, Lord, help oh, Lord, every deficiency in my character. Help me to fix it today. Help me to fix it today. Help me to fix it today. In the mighty name of Jesus, every deficiency in my character, every deficiency in my character, Help me, Lord, to fix it. Help me, Lord, to fix it. Help me, Lord, to fix it today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. But I venture you are here. Let's close our eyes. You are not yet giving your life to Jesus. And this word is coming a second time. You need a relationship with the Lord. And you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You can lift up your hands so that we can pray together. You have not yet given your life to Jesus. You want to surrender your life to him today. So that, you know, as we go into the last, we are going to the last phase of the program, the manifestation of God's help, so that you can receive the help of God, so that God can touch you, so that, you know, your life take a new turn from this moment, in the name of Jesus, so you begin to walk in the excellency of spirit. Your husband will see you and say, something has changed. Your children will see you and say, mommy, something has changed. In the mighty name of Jesus, let Karaba soto here, mashikete here. Even if you are watching online and you want to surrender your life to Jesus, I want you to indicate and say, Jesus, oh, I'm coming to you today. Have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus, the burden of sin is such that we cannot carry it. The guilt of sin is such that it's killing. Some have passed that is haunting and, you know, and taunting. And Jesus is saying today, come unto me. Are you I? Who are heavy lady? You are troubled and I will give you rest. So that you can enjoy this rest. So that you can enjoy this help. Say, Jesus, I surrender to you. Let Rosso Catania. Mali Roschete Libra Catania. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, Lord, we thank you for your help is available. We take your help and we say the Lord it will help us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. We are going to the last phase. We will not be taking the seminar per se. We will be taking the worship and then we will go into the ministrations and offering and thanksgiving and we will be closing. Please don't be in a hurry to go. Uh, we have wonderful food prepared by our sister. Hallelujah. We want to sit down and feast together and during that time also chat and pray together. And of course we have cake. Glory be to Jesus. So as God feed us, we try to also feed us physically. And I came with some of our books. They are the back there. We will do the conversion to uh, Danish coroners, see, so that we can uh, convert it. Glory be to Jesus. You know, our God is wonderful. Hallelujah. And um, 
I said, I go from nation to nation. I said, I, I didn't withdraw money yesterday, but I said, I must get this money. I must touch this money. I'm used to using card for everything. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, as the Lord made me to go from nations to nations, I just have little change of different currency in my bag. And I said, this is the help of God. Amen. This is God at work. Amen. And God is helping us in Jesus' name. Amen. As we get ready for the final session, we will have worship. But before then, then if you look at our program, isn't it beautiful? You see testimonies and announcements. We, um, um, Sister Karen has told us about DOD and our programs. You can see on the second page, below the testimony. Testimony from across the nations. There are so many, but we are picked. I don't know why God said I should. I could have just done a two pages program. He said I should put them. Even when I said that, oh God, you don't need to put it there. And then on the other side, you will see the testimonies from our online and offline program. On the other side, you will see Women in Ministry program and Women in Ministry International. And I'm going to be bringing up the woman of God that will talk to us about women in ministry. We're supposed to have a video, but since the audio is not working, we'll be playing the video in the background. She will be doing the talking. Sharing with us the vision of women in ministry. I believe you have it now. You get it from the website. You should have it by them. Hallelujah. So, but before we do that, before I call up forward, I will want us to prepare our mind for the final session. And God has not brought you here since afternoon for fun. Get your mind ready. The Lord, the presence of God is here. God is going to touch us. God is going to reach out to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's on the website, on Women in Ministry website. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. And it's the vision of the Women in Ministry. And she'll be inviting us for the Women in Ministry conference. Supposing the video is working, the video will have read the vision. And she'll just, that's the plan initially. And we'll just do the additional one. And uh, we bless the name of the Lord for Women in Ministry International. It's an arm of our ministry. As Sister Karen has told us when we started, and you see pictures from our recent program. So the pictures we are taking here, too, we are is going to go places too. Yes. Hallelujah! Amen. See, this testify to the help of God, Hallelujah. and I want to encourage all the women of God in our midst. Pity we could not have women in ministry, but we will just say something in little because of our time to encourage us to be part of the annual women in ministry conference. She's going to come talk to us about that. But I just want to say to us that women in ministry, Isaiah chapter 50, you know, um, verse 5 to 7 talks about God helping us. And what in what we do with the Lord help us by putting his word in our mouth. Pray for every after she did the testimony and the something we will talk, we will pray together, and I trust God that God will help us in the name of Jesus. Please welcome with me, Pastor Ijema for women in ministry international. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 When it comes to the presence of God, I like making noise. Let somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say we pray the food. Let somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The psalmist said I was glad when they said let us go into the house of the Lord. Because in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Amen. And there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, um, I just want to appreciate God and appreciate our mama for the opportunity to talk about Women in Ministry International. <laughs> this Women in Ministry International. In fact, I wish she would have given me the permission to say it how it is. <laughs> how it is in my heart. But I, do, I just have to talk about the vision. The women in ministry is a vision to gather women serving God in various capacities as leaders uh, from various nations to strengthen one another as the Bible says, iron sharpens one another. The anchor scripture for the vision is Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17. I believe from KJV. It says, iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Women in Ministry International provides the venue, the avenue to come together to sharpen one another as women serving in various ministerial capacities. Every woman called by God 
and serving in the ministry is a sister to, um, to another woman serving in the ministry. It is relieving to know that irrespective of where we are based around the world, that we go through some similar challenges in ministry. Why some challenges are peculiar based on in geographical locations, we can still find a general ground to unburden and ask questions. The vision of the Women in Ministry International is, proof, is to provide a place of fellowship for women serving in ministry, to fellowship together, enjoying grace in other female ministers as they bring the word, unbordering ministerial challenges, asking questions and speaking out. <laughs> I love that speaking out. And speaking out. Encouraging one another and strengthening one another by sharing the testimonies of overcoming challenges to others. Um, you know, we, we, we try to give those testimonies to encourage others that are going through the same challenges so that they can receive courage for the assignment. And then that is from 1 Thessalonians 5.11. We receive clarity and guidance for ministry when we come together. We receive, you know, we pray for one another. When we come together, we inspire one another when we come together. We charge one another towards finishing strong by walking in holiness and righteousness. This we do through the annual Women in Ministry Conference, Intercontinental Banquet for, oh, sorry, this we do through the Women in Ministry Conference. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, um, <laughs> every October is like a retreat for me. It's a, it's a personal retreat for me. This is a place where you are naked but not ashamed. This is a place you don't have to perform. You understand the word perform. You know, you don't you have to be yourself, your real self. This is a place where there is joy. There is there is this there's this thing that happened that you know that I can I can confide in somebody. Because she might be going through the same thing I'm going through. She's not a church member. You know, when we see church members, we try to, you know, play cool. As if everything is fine. Why do you know everything is not fine? Now, when you go, come into the women in ministry, you will see that somebody else is even is passing through the challenges or have even passed through those challenges. This is where we are, our real self. We say the way it is. You embody yourself. You talk the way it is. And you, you speak out. You speak out and nobody, there is no judgment because what you are saying is that person that is sitting beside that has gone through it times and times over. So it's a place where you come and you feel free to worship God. You are not there to, to pray for anybody, any church member. You are there to pray for yourself. You are there to, you know, unburden yourself and say, Father, this is, this is it. This is it. Being naked before God and being naked before your sisters and your fire. It's a place where you receive joy. By the time you're leaving that place, it's like you are cleansed. They wash you with water, with the water of the word of God. You are cleansed. You are, it's like you are leaving that place a new person. A new being. I'm telling you honestly, try it this year. Just come. This year. I can do anything but I don't like to be seen that because it's a place where finally when you get there in Madrid the hotel is beautiful, the breakfast is wonderful, the, we walk in the mornings, we go for a morning walk in the, in the morning and you come back there's this, there's this energy there's this power in, the, in, in our morning devotion you think that is what it is, come back in the afternoon you see, it's like from one tempo to another, God is increasing from one level to another, from one level to another it's, 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 it's a place where <laughs> Before you leave that place, you know that yes, I came to a place. This is a place that even if you are, if you go to your room and come back and somebody just walk into the room, the person will feel the power. And after morning session, and we all go back to the rooms to get ready for the afternoon sessions. And when somebody that was not there come into that room, you will know that something happened here. So I'm inviting you, and I'm inviting the audience. Please, I'm begging you. If you're a woman in ministry, please. Please, for you to serve God better, you need to embody, you need to be true to yourself. You need to take away some certain things. So that you don't go and run into trouble. Sometimes you lay hands on people you don't know, you don't, you don't need to lay hands on. 
You pray the prayer, you know, so also, yeah, they teach us how to do ministry. How to do ministry very well. So please, take this time out for the sake of your ministry, for the sake of your life, for the sake of your children, to serve God better and serve your home better. Please, take time out every year to go to Spain. To go to Spain. So you can do ministry better. You will do yourself a service, a good service for, by doing that. There is still time to book cheap flights. Me, I book a cheap flight. God help me to book a cheap flight. Hallelujah. Amen. So if, you are, if your heart is there to be there, God will make it happen for you. Amen. So please, there is still time. We are in September and the conference is coming up on the 24th, I think. 26th. I booked my ticket 24th. So I will be there earlier. So it's 26th. Please make time available. See me, I'm going on 24th. Sir. So that I can wet the ground very well. Yeah, so that I can wet the ground very well. Before I arrive at 25th, everybody will start arriving. Please arrive on time so you can get settled. The food is awesome. Mama G is coming. The food is, don't worry about it. We are not fasting. Don't think if you come, you'll be fasting. If you want to fast, then maybe God ask you to fast. But there is no compulsory fasting because there is food. Serious food. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who among you is coming with me? After talking all this, I need to see you. Yes. And there's still time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I would like you to come. We are with this time. We don't have time. There is connection. You network. You get to see other wonderful women of God that will challenge you in ministry. Amen. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Above all, please pray for the conference. Amen. Start now to pray for us and to pray for Mama for more inspiration. Amen. For God's enablement Amen. and strength Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is happening to her? Let me just say this quickly. You can come. What is happening to her now was prophesied during that women's ministry conference. And me too, I, I thank along. <laughs> and God is doing wonderful things in my life too. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let us make it a date with the Father. Win 2023 is a must be there for every woman of God. And I pray that the Lord will open up our spirit much more to get this understanding in Jesus' name. Let us stand up. We're going to be worshiping the Father once again. I say, Father, thank you, Jesus, for sending me help. Thank you because your help, Lord, is unfailing. Your help is such a faithful one, Lord, I bless you. Because your help, Lord, is from time to time, continual help. You have always, Lord Jesus, extend unto me. Why would I be ungrateful, Jesus? I am here again, Father Lord, to declare and say, teach you, God, have helped me. I am a girl, I am a woman that has been helped by the Lord, that is still being helped by Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. Lord, we thank you because you are Father and our King. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to the praise. Let us open up our spirits to the Father and say thank you for your help, Jesus. Because your help tonight, Lord, Father, will begin to open us. Because your help will begin to take off the veils. Your help today, Jesus, will begin to illuminate. Your help today, Father, will begin to build up our spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. Your help today, Father, will begin, Lord Jesus, to take off all of our deficiencies and we become a Efficient to the Father, and our sufficiency will be of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to say, Father, I thank you for your divine help because your help will produce power. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your help will support me for life. Thank you, mighty God, because your help will rescue me. Thank you, Jesus, because your help will save me. Thank you, everlasting God, because your help will be beneficial to me and to my household. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, because your help will promote me. Because your help will affirm your words continually in my life on daily basis. Thank you, Jesus, because your help, Lord, will begin to bring forth strength to serve you, even that before in the name of Jesus. Say thank you, Lord 
Jesus for your help, Lord. Because I am yours, Jesus. I say your help begins to create, Lord, a wholesome living for me. As your daughter, create a wholesome living for my family. Your help today ends for Jesus. Begins to give me the life of holiness. That holiness will never be a struggle anymore. It will not be that, ah, she's just, you know, she's just been part of those people that are just serving, serving without focus. No, your help will be going to, it's going to provoke me to the life of holiness. And so to your help, Jesus, we begin to bring the effortlessness to my sa sacrifices, to my service, Lord, in the vineyard, in the body of Christ. Begin to say, Father, your help begins to produce, begins to multiply. Your help today, Lord, begins to become, Lord, that which will bring forth glory, glory in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, your help ends forth, Father, from today, Lord Jesus. Begins to give me, O oh Lord, the great knowledge from the Lord that I need to run with a vision in my hands that I need to begin to work with all that you have instructed me to do, that your help today will begin to give me godly wisdom, will begin to, oh Lord, Father, imbibe in me the knowledge of Christ, will begin to give me the summons in what to do and all that I will have to do for life, Lord, and destiny in the name of Jesus. Begin to say with your mouth today and say, Father, Lord, today your help today, Lord, I receive courage from your help, courage to step out out of my own shell today in the name of Jesus I say Father your help begins to produce wisdom your help begins to produce Lord strength from the heavenly places in the name of Jesus I say Lord I receive your help Lord in the name of Jesus Father Lord your help produces power power to operate in all spheres of life in the name of Jesus I say Father today your help oh Lord Begin to, oh Lord, Father, begin to make your goodness run after me. I will not run after anything anymore because it is always our story in this abroad that we run, a, run, run after all things, but not again. It is ending now because the help of God has come forth that they were taking us and therefore goodness comes after us. The favor of God begins to run after us. The greatness of the Father begins to run after us. We say we receive favor from young and old, just like the Bible says that Jesus grew. He says he grew in stature. He grew in favor with God and man. We begin to declare upon ourselves that your help today, physical help, Lord, that we receive, begin to bet physical advantages for us. We say, Lord, spiritual help that we receive today, begin to bet spiritual advantage for us. We say, financial help that we receive today, begin to bet Oh Lord, outstanding finances for our help for us today. In the name of Jesus, we say, Lord, help wisely, Lord. The help that we receive in our body, spirit, soul, we say it begins to bed, Lord, wholesomeness. We will not have any tiredness or weariness in our spirit, not even in our body. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say, more so, Father, that your help will bring us to the place of glory, to that heavenly home, to that place where you have, oh Lord, prepared for us. And and all other saints all around the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Let us worship the Father today and say, Father, for thou, O Lord, art a shield for me.
was telling, you know, he sent his word three days before. I didn't even know, like, you know, God, was, uh, the, the, my mama was sending me the topic that now is the time. Now is the time that we need to step out and stand up as children, as daughters of the Lord. That now is the time we have to begin to embrace the help of the Father. When we look into the book of Luke, that place says that there were women. There were significant three significant men that was mentioned in that place. Ah, Johanna. They said, and also Mary, and I, I don't know, I, I forgot, he said the wife of somebody, I forgot, Susanna. You know, they said these women were wealthy. You know, they didn't think about their wealth. They didn't come in the place of, oh, I have got it all, I really do not need God. Because in this world, in this part of the world where we are, that is it, that we really do not need God. We can get everything at the snap of our fingers. But with the exemplary life of this world, they also had everything. They begin to tell the Lord, our Father, I embrace your help today. Because I know, because when your help comes into my life today, God, I embrace your help. I will be I embrace your help. I embrace your help. I am not of myself anymore. I begin to embrace your help. Lord, I embrace your help. Oh, Lord, I embrace your help. Oh, spiritually, I begin to embrace your help, Lord. Because I know Jesus. I can do nothing without you, Jesus. I can do nothing, Father. And what is the help that the Lord is sending to us? He said, He said in His Spirit, He said, I will not leave you comfortless. But I am going to send my Spirit. He is going to teach you all this. He is going to remind you. I do not know that word that the Lord has spoken into your life. That you have forgotten about it. The Lord is opening His throne today. And He is saying, begin to embrace the help. The help will bring you forth. Will bless you forth into a new time and season. And the season is now. The time to be able to run. To be able to walk. Yes. To nine about it says the glory of the latter day shall be greater than the former. Amen. I do not want know what was our latter years, but this is God's word today to us. It says the glory of the latter, it will be greater than the former. I say the former is so he said those ones they don't exist, no record for them, they are forgotten, and this is it that father. What God will require of us is that we embrace His help. His help is more than sufficient. Begin to tell the Lord, I embrace Father, your help. I embrace your help. I embrace your I help. Embrace your help. From the place of humility today, I, I come down and bring myself low. Lord, Lord, I still Lord, embrace your Jesus today. Because I need it. Jesus needed this help as well when He was on earth. That was why men was able to when we were raised for Him. He said there was compassion in His hands. We need to Help for the compassion of men and women to be in our hands. Yes, so that we can be able to express the love of God today. I am proud that today I embrace the help that you release, Lord, in this place today. I am not throwing it away, Lord. Ignorantly, Father, we thank you, Jesus, because you are working it out for us. Yes, irrespective of all of the things that is holding us back, we break out of them, Lord. From all of us limitations today, we embrace your help to say Lord in the mighty name of Jesus we say Lord you are the glory you are the lifter of our head and today Jesus we step out we step out in the help that you release today Lord over us in the name of Jesus Amen. the glory and the lifter of my head
Yeah. 
your life will manifest good news. In the name of Jesus, your life will manifest good news. In the name of Jesus, all around you the story will change. This is the help of God. I want to ask you, sister, did it change? See, it's God. I'm a woman that is sent by God. He 
saying <laughs> very soon God's decree. <laughs> Things are going to happen so fast. Amen. Your head will swim. Amen. You will not be able to keep up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That is the word of God. He said, everywhere you do, blessings. Yes. 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 Yes.
to me about relationships. He said there are places you will go once and not go. He said there are places you will go twice. God is saying you are coming back. And the Lord will be glorified. I'll testify. 
Thank you so much, my sister. God bless you, my name of Jesus. I want us to please quickly pray for Mama. I don't know why, but I just why she was praying for us. I was your heart running up. I had that ministration that we should pray for her for strength. Amen. We should pray for her for wisdom. Amen. Because there are so many things God wants to still do. The journey is still far. Yes. She has not even started. Mm -hmm. So we are asking God for strength, Amen. for wisdom, Amen. for great insight, with more revelation into what God really wants her to do. She will be precise. Mm -hmm. There was a prayer she prayed in Nigeria, which we are also praying for her, that she will never fizzle out. Amen. That God is going to take her from grace to grace, from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, can we just put our hands and begin to pray towards the direction that God will strengthen her, that God will send her help. Now, why would God want us to pray for her? I don't know, but let's pray that God will strengthen her the more, more wisdom, more revelation of the word of God in the name of Jesus. That she will go from strength to strength. That God will make make haste to help her. Whenever she calls for help, help will be there. Before she even calls for the help, help is already available. And she moves from nation to one another, from one kingdom to another. The Bible says, "It suffers no man to do no harm, but in the good kings and priests will say, say say, 'You have touched on my anointing and do my prophetic work.' We ask for favor in every nation. That as the soul of our feet will touch, we ask for favor. Favor before men, before God, before God, in the name of Jesus. Nations shall respond to her in the name of Jesus. When she calls, nations will respond in the name of Jesus. Nations will hear her voice, and anyone that hears her voice." We will pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We cry out to our Father to protect her, to guide her, to reveal, to reveal more of Himself day by day in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the word of God in her mouth will not fail. As she speaks, the Bible says that the, the Lord mentioned that the word of Samuel, none of them fell to the ground. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Every word God has given her concerning anyone, it will not fail. God will confirm the word of her mouth with signs and wonders. The Bible says he performed the counsel of his messengers. He will perform all her counsel in the name of Jesus. We are praying that the word of God in her mouth will not fail. It will not fall. It will not fall by the wayside. It will be near and amen in the name of Jesus. As she says it will see in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will protect her family. As she moves around, the enemy will not take advantage. The Lord will guide her husband. The Lord will guide her son. And all that children coming after her. After him in the name of Jesus. That time shall be for signs and wonders of her. In the name of Jesus. There will not be fire of any ministration. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will warn the world of fire. In the name of the Lord will protect her. Protect her ministry. Protect her husband and her children. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we thank you for the wonderful gift to the nations. Thank you for the gift to womanhood. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the, for the grace you have given your daughter. Thank you for everything you have packaged in her. Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you because you gave us a gift to us in this time, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God, the reason why you called her, she will not fail in that direction. She will move from glory to glory. She will move from strength to strength. Others will see her and will, talk, and will ask her, well, how are you doing this? And she will always refer them as normally as she does back to you that you are the one that has been yes. her. Father, we thank you, O God, for how you have built her. Yes. Thank you for building her strong you, in you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, for your name's sake, she will not fail. Amen. For your name's sake, she will not fall. Amen. For your name's sake, she will not fizzle out. Amen. Father, she will only grow from grace to grace, Amen. from strength to strength. Amen. In every nation you are calling her into, Amen. those nations will respond to her. Amen. They will listen to her. Amen. They will favor her Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Make all available for her yes. and she abides in your presence yes. and go for you yes. father we know oh god that you make all things available yes. you make all things possible yes. the word of her or the word of god in her mouth will not fail yes. as she saying it she will say it yes. in the name of jesus yes. the signs and wonders will continue to follow her ministry yes. in the name of jesus yes. there is a uniqueness in her ministry yes. that uniqueness will not fail yes. in the name of jesus yes. but you will strengthen it more and more in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you so much for that prayer. Thank you. I so much needed it. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are rounding up now. Glory be to
to God. Can we have our cake? Glory be to Jesus. In every nation, we always have cake. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, Facebook people, thank you for watching and joining us. We want to say bye bye to you. The grace of the forest is in that we need to take pictures. 